Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install VMware tools on a Mac OS virtual machine running in VMware Workstation. So we have our VM running here with no VMware tools. It gets, the mouse is a little choppy and it's kind of slow and it doesn't fit the screen all the way. So normally what you would do is you would go up to the VM tab and click on install VMware tools, which will kind of mount the uh, installation files for Windows in the virtual CD drive. But if you do that here, it says could not find component on update server, contact VMware support or your system administrator. So what you need to do is you need to download the VMware tools manually and then install them manually on the VM. So to do that, you could go to the VMware website and do a search for VMware tools under the downloads. Uh, you might have to make an account to get there. You'll have to you'll see when you find out, I guess I, I had to log in to really be able to find it with my VMware account. And then once you're there, you'll find the VMware tools for Mac OS. There'll be a zip file and a GZ file. So I download the zip file and I have that right here. And so all you need to do is really is just extract it. And let's call this. Okay. And so now you have this Darwin ISO file here. So we're just going to copy this path here or you could browse to it. So what you want to do is you go back to VMware Workstation, go to the VM settings, and then the virtual CD DVD drive, and then whatever you got in there, just remove. Browse to that Darwin ISO file, make sure it's connected to power on, make sure it's connected, and click OK. And now it should bring up your, should mount it right here. And then you have an option to install VMware tools. So you just click on that. Okay, continue. This can tell you what installation type. You could change the location if you want, but I would just leave it alone. Okay, then it wants your password to install. And then you want to give it permissions by clicking on OK. Then you need to open the security preferences to change this. Okay, then this screen, you're going to have to go down to the bottom, click the lock to make changes to allow the installation to happen. Put in your password again. And then you want to allow VMware from lo to load. And then you need to restart the computer or VM. Okay, we're going to log in here. You can see that the screen's resolution has changed here. Okay, so now we're back on our desktop. So the screen's, you know, bigger here because I had to change the resolution to record the video, but I could tell that it worked because. Uh, Resolution is much better even in this lower resolution for recording and the mouse movement is a lot smoother as well So looks like everything's good So once again, just um, download the VMware tools uh, For Mac OS zip file extract it. So you, you want to have that Darwin ISO file go to the VM So you actually have reinstall VMware tools meaning it's been installed go to settings mount it in your CD DVD drive and then you'll get this VMware tools icon here just run this and then you're going to have to allow the VMware installer to do its thing reboot and then you should be good to go with VMware tools on Mac OS all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe <laughs>